Hi, my name is Brett Lickle, and I'm here with Cabrina, and I'm here to show you a line management system I've developed. It's going to make it so you never have to walk the lines again, no more of this stuff between the legs, stringing the lines out. The system I'm going to give you gives you the ability to come up to your kite, hook your lines up, walk them out, and launch. Um, the first thing to the system you've got to remember is that when you wrap your lines, everything has to be correct. So I like to tell people if you walk them out behind the kite, you get a good visual on that, and you know everything's good. After you've done that, you can wrap your lines up, and then I'm going to go through the whole process of how to organize those lines so that you'll never have to string the lines out again. Just hook them up and go. Okay, so before you wrap your bar up, let's check our lines and make sure everything's nice and clear, and then we got no tangles in the setup. From there, I'm going to go into just wrapping my bar. I like to take it straight over like this, holding it down. Okay, so at this point I'm going to come up right up next to the kite. And I'm going to cinch off that one end using my bungee. This one now goes under the armpit, like so. And I'm now going to go into the disconnection of the lines. And as I do that, I'm going to put them in a certain place. So I start with my outside steering line, and I undo that one. Keeping control of this, I keep that in my right hand while I'm working over here with the other one. I undo my trim bridle line. I take that steering line and I put it over the bridle line like so. So I now have controlled my two reds like so. From there I move into my black trim line. I grab it all the time making sure I've kept control of this one that it's not twisting or doing anything. I then let the two join together like so and hold them and control them. I can't let them go. If I do, I'm going to lose control of the system. Come over to my last black steering line. And I'm now going to use that loop to secure the two knots together. So what I have is a system that looks like this. Now, the problem with this is that if this spins through like this, you're going to get twisted in the line. So you've got to keep this orientation true. And so to do that, we're going to put it on the bar in a certain way. I'm going to bring it over to my bar end, and I'm going to set it right over the top, keeping my orientation exactly how I had it. I'm going to use that bungee to cinch it off, bring it down, make sure it's nice and tight, and everything's being held on. From there, I'll undo this one, let my line drop off together, like so. And I'm going to come here and just use this on the end, right like so to wrap it up with a nice last twist over the top and bungee down. So you end up with a nice clean bar and as you'll notice on the end these lines are contained and waiting for the launch. So from taking the lines off in order we've ended up with a system here that gives us the ability to take the lines off of here and put them back exactly how we took them off. When I take that off it's ready to be hooked up to my steering line. I still need to keep control of these over here. I can't let them do anything that's going to jeopardize the system. So I hold on to everything and I hook that one up just like I took it off. I then come, I've kept control of these two. I come down, I find my black trim line and I hook that one up. Again, the whole time keeping control of these also. Once I undo this, this one goes to my trim line, this one goes to my steering line. And I'm now set and ready to go, the same as when I wrap those lines up. And what we end up with are the four lines coming off of the bar exactly how they were. So as we unwrap this bar, we know everything's true because we wrapped it correctly. We set it down, we did our knots correctly, so when we hooked up to the kite, you really can't go wrong.